Yo, what up, little homie? This is Al Scratch from the legendary Ill Al Scratch. And right now, you checking out the Drop a Gym show with my homie, Speak No Evil and Leo. When I got with Smoke, you know, we didn't really know each other. He was from West Brighton. I mean, we knew each other from the streets, but we never, you know, smoked a bunch right. chill. Right, right. He came to Stapleton. He went to R&S. was R&S, you know, law. So he went right. to all. Like, Yo, um, go ah. Oh. Out of all the artists, man, who's who's ready? Who's ready to go right now? He was like, Yo, I don't want it. Man. Who, who, who else? So he's like, Yeah. So we had a, I had a few songs and shit, but like I said, I wasn't sure about Smoke, his work ethic at the time. I didn't really know him. So I'm like, yo, I don't want to give him this one. Let's let's create something new. Okay. So I was like, all right, come on. We went to the left. You know what I mean? He's like, all right, come on. You know, he didn't even say come on. He went, he went off. Probably like a day or two later, I went up to the crib. He's like, yo, I think I got something. And he started he started playing violin riffs, different mm -hmm. ones. Yeah, C. Yeah, like a CD, a different, different violin. And then he came across the. Then he went to mad scientist mode. You know how to do that right. stuff. <laughs> yeah, I love it. And then I just, you know, I took the beat home, and I, I actually wrote "Black on Black Crime" in, in, in a night because wow. it was, I was I wasn't really accustomed to writing three verses, but since yeah. the he was so 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 hypnotic and slow and stretched. Shit, yeah. I was like, nah, I can't put these verses on here. It's gonna be too long. So I just said, let me chop it down and just do two verses. And like I said, I was always in a format of doing songs with three verses. It's like when you listen to the Rock Kings and the Cool G's and the, yeah, and the, you, know, you know, you do three sixteens and shit. So when I did Black on Black and it was only two, and it just I think the you know, less made it a big song, and you know, yeah. with the mess going on. Um, at the time, what made me do a song like that is because, like you said, the clan was out, and it was more of the the street. I, I didn't want to try to emulate what was already being done, and I didn't want to do a song like you, you mentioned. I, I did a song, could you woo woo woo, and um, let's go to lab. Woo 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 was more of a territorial song for Staten Island, so right. people from Staten Island really knew what it was about when I was doing it. Um. So I said when I was getting with the independent, let me think of a universal, you know, title. So when Black on Black Crime was like, you know, you got Blood Diamonds, you got, got so many, you know, Black on Black Crime is is universal, yeah, not broad. just dead. Okay. So what's so crazy, yeah. you know, even now when I get fans from Brazil or maybe certain parts of the world that'll be like, yo, Black on Black, when he dropped that, I just thought that it was the illest, and I thought it was the next coming to Chuck D, and I thought I was just going to hear a revolutionary. <laughs> and I was just like, I was like, no, nah, it was definitely a heartfelt song, but in my mind state at that present time was not to follow behind the clan, but to, to stand out on my own. Right. And right. That black on black crime to this day, like you said, just that one pure drop of pureness could stick out. It, yeah. you know what I mean? So and many people, anytime they hear that beat, and rest in peace to, to Black Rob, because he was the first one to, to sample it. I don't think the song was a year old, and Black Rob sampled that shit, and him and G Depp was on it. And me and Black Rob chopped it up several times. I seen him in clubs and we drank it, boom, boom. And I told him, because my government name is Robin Briggs. So um, I'm like, man, you, you, I'm the original Black Rob, motherfucker. You get no, that? <laughs> I was like, you know that. Yeah. You start clapping and laughing and shit. You know what I mean? So definitely rest in peace to um the black bra because like I said, he was the one one of the first to jump on a beat and he and he'd be like, yo, that beat was so yo, that beat was so ill, man. He was like, yo, I'm gonna take another beat off that album. You know what I mean? So I I it definitely, like I said, I made it to and it was probably meant to be because I wanted to grab a, a song from scratch. So that's how the song really right. came about. And I wanted to make a universal song that this wasn't territorial about Stad now. Right. That's Indeed. crazy. Indeed. You know, you 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 know, you got um you you that song was amazing. I think your chemistry with RNS is really, really dope. And I think that showed on the Underground Emperor album. Um, yep. talk a little bit about finally putting out your solo project, having him produce 
you know, the majority of it, you know, pretty much do yeah. the whole thing and that talk about your chemistry yep. and why didn't y'all do more projects together? Because y'all could have been like a P Rock and Seal Smooth and EPMD type of vibe. You know what I'm saying? Like, what happened with that? I, I just feel like I said the MCA situation left a sour taste in individuals' mouths. Me, per mm. se, I, I, I'm ready to go to bat because at the same time, the same thing was going on with Jay-Z. Like, when they the, the, the label they didn't want to do with Jay-Z, Jay-Z right. took his own money and the, the helicopter and the Lex and boom, boom. And I think right. that same thing, you know what I mean? Smoke was, you know, in hindsight, he was, we was supposed to take that, that album because right. what happened was this. Um, the GP Wu album, Hank Shockley and them fumbled the ball. Right. What happened, Smoke Record was distributed through MCA. So when I did my solo album, it was on Smoke Record mm -hmm. slash MCA. It was on slash MCA. And um, when MCA put out the album, they said, we're not going to give you no videos, no this, no that. Wow. They, they, it was punking me again. So right. I want I up pulling up. I was in New York. I wish I was in LA because I probably would have tried to do some ice cube shit and go into the label. And <laughs> all my yeah, yeah, I would have did that. Um, but I, I couldn't, and I, I just called up uh, MCA, and I just told everybody I, I was told them to suck me off. I was, I called up Steve Corbin. And I was just calling up the front office, so they had put me on a conference call, and then they wanted to yank my album because they felt like I disrespected them. But I was like, yo. Y'all did the most disrespectful shit ever, y'all. Yeah. disrespected my group. Y'all labeled us we wanted more to. I give you a dope right. solo album. You don't want it. I'm like, yo, fuck y'all. Like, you know what I mean? So. Some guy. Right. We all right? Oh, yeah, no, yeah, yeah. We good. We good. We good. So, oh, okay. okay. So, they dropped the ball on, on the solo album. So, they just, they dropped when they dropped the ball on the solo album, not to stop there, but when they dropped the okay. ball on the solo album and things of that nature, um, this, a lot of people were bitter. A lot of people were uptight at me because I had cursed individuals out. So they might have right. felt like I burned bridges or whatever the case may be. But I, yeah. I felt like we were being disrespected for like three, four years with this label when we were pouring our heart and soul. And I felt like it could have been something that could have been spectacular because individuals definitely had rhyming skills and we had a direction and we had a backing. Um, you know, with the hood, with the producers, with everything. So with all, like I said, all never really was like he, even though he was our producer, like I said, he was a producer for hire. So even though we probably could have did more tracks right. together, like that, we should have went back into the dungeon and came up with some new and boom, boom, boom. It was just like I think I got chewed up and spit out, and I was kind of disgusted with the industry. So. I was just like, fuck. And then when I seen how the clan was going about it, because like I said, when the clan first started, you might remember two, three hundred deep. When we went just to um, when we went, when we when 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 Tupac, Biggie, and Shaheen rhymed at that club, you gotta remember Wu yeah. Ting got on, I, I got on that night, King Just got on that. That was a spectacular night. And when Wu came hey, you were just was on there? I didn't even know that. Wow, that's was, crazy. We, we, we wasn't we wasn't on the we wasn't on the, the music part of it. He wasn't on the but music she was, call. You got on the mic and rock that night. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All this, all this, the crowd and all of that that night. Yeah. Uh, was that Club Muse? I think it was Club Muse. It could have been, I'm yeah. Not, I don't have the night mixed up, but I'm, I'm even when Sha was there certain night, you know, we yeah. used to be the backdrop of things, but it was a big night. And, and a lot of times when the Wu first came out, it was 200 deep, 300 deep. I mean, even up from the 36 chambers, we got Ghostface uh. Killer. You know what I mean? The, the old dirty bastard, this movie, Shaheem the Rugged Child, Pop the Brown Hornet. You know what I mean? So when you yep. mention my name, you mentioned that I'm a part of the history and the movement of this shit. So Indeed. for me not to be featured on any Wu Tang album, not to ever go on, on any tour, you know what I mean? But to represent yeah. them, you have to ask the question to yourself like, damn, what? what What's the big hatred? Like, I ain't never killed none of y'all family members, this, that, and the third. Just for the artistry of making music and live music, you would have figured one of them would have been like, yo, wow, come on, man. Was it was it business politics or, 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 or hood politics, you think that? It's probably a combination, because in the beginning, in the beginning, I was offered to get down with the clan. you know what I mean? Um, right. And I got on the phone with Rizzo, because Ghost was like, come on, God, yo. So we got on the pay phone, and it was like, 
Rizzo was like, yeah, you're going to get down. You're only going to get 5% of your songs. So like I told you before, and we've been again in this conversation, I used to have mad songs with R&S. Fucking on his song. Bruh. So yeah. you think I'm assigning y'all? I'm assigning you, and now out of all these songs that I got, once I sign in your ass, I'm only going to get five percent. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, that's crazy. That's that is up. crazy. I was like, Yo, Ghost, I ain't doing that. So, but a lot of the clan members, you feel me, the U E, this, that, and the third, they joined in. So it was like, fuck it, if he ain't going to do it, yo, let him do his own thing. You know what I mean? It was one right. of those. So I was like, damn, I can't get featured because. I, I was on a couple of clan songs. They had a song called Run Your Garments. A couple of other songs I was in that they probably eating off me across seas with. But um I was on a couple yeah. of songs, but, but but when I didn't want to sign, it was just like, nah, you know what I mean? So as far as the business part, yeah, I didn't fit yeah. in. When the hood politics comes in right behind it, because you know, brothers is coming from the streets. It's like, yo, fuck that. Let me do his own shit. Right. So I did my own shit. But it would have been nice. To been yeah. able to one hand wash the other, like yo, come yo, come through, open up for us, yo, boom, boom, because that's how Queens did it. Even though Nas was here, yo, Akinelli in your mouth, yo, boom, yep. yo, Diego, yep. yo, boom, yo, Mom D, yo, boom, boom. That's how yep. that shit goes. Yep. But Staten Island, it's just some fucking. Is this? I'm telling you, that, that's what it be. It, it, they don't want to show each other love. It's just like me, 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 me. Do you, do you think some, Do you think something like that is as simple as as RZA, his brother, Power, like all them going? Well, if you don't sign with us, then you ain't getting no fucking shine during this era because we're running shit. Was it as simple as that? As simple as that. You got to remember nah, one. Thing. You got to remember back then too, when you had the source like the Power Thirty. Remember that? Remember the yeah, magazines? I remember that shit, yeah. 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 This shit was real, B. So yeah. if I got a booty man, if I got loud records, if I got risky, or whoever the fuck I got in my pocket, and, and you paying for promotions, because that's what that shit is, radio, and he's he's dishing yeah. out. That shit is payola cleaned up, no doubt. Hey, yo, hey, yo, here, yo, play all our shit. Don't play none of that shit coming from out of Staten Island. And I'm going to tell you, this is a true story. This is worth the my. This is worth the me. The first time I ever heard Black on Black Crime on the radio, it was me and my lady who I was chilling with at the time. And I swear, right. this is, this is, no, from the Wu Tang Clan. Wow. Yeah. That was the first time I heard my song, and my shorty was wow. like, at the time, she was like, you down with the Wu Tang Clan? Yeah. I was like, oh shit. But somebody must have heard it from me because I never heard my song. On the radio again until that's crazy. Signed to MCA and they rewrapped it and put it back out there. So somebody must have hit the button like, nah, D, no, ho, 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 you, he, he ain't down with us. I know they did. I was sabotaged behind the scenes. I was blackball, point blank, bottom line. I'm too great of a talent for 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 it not no to doubt. have too great of a talent for somebody. Like I said, I know all of the like. Even though they was from Paul Kill and I'm from Stapleton, you know what I mean. Right. So a, you had to, I had to go to, I had to go to one of six two to get weed. I, I used to see Shaquan and, and, and inspect the deck. Mm. Matthew, they used to sit in front of one sixty writing rhymes. I used to have to, used to have the thing on you to go get a bag of weed mm. because if not, if they didn't know you, they'd fuck you up in the hallway. Right. So, but it was always Matthew used to be like the bro. Every time I come to one. <laughs> Like, you know what I mean? So the whole park front, not the whole park hill no man. You know what I mean? But it's just like that's how it was. The brotherhood was there. So when they yeah. got on, when they got on and then they made that pat and they joined together, like, yo, if you ain't down with this and this movement, like you like you referenced to, then fuck it, we gonna stunt anything coming out of uh, Staten Island. That goes for King Just, that goes to myself, that goes for all them other bubbling groups that tried to come that Rizzo might have like said. Sons of Man and, and Killer Army and all them, yeah. Well, Sons of Man and Killer Army, they they different. Yeah. They different. Those are Wu affiliates. When you say Wu Tang affiliates, those are the first ones up at the realm. GP right, the right. Wu, I'm not a Wu Tang affiliate. I am not a Wu Tang clan affiliate. Mm-hmm. I can't be affiliated okay. to some to, to anyone that I pre exist. Right. You, right. I, pre- I got you. I pre exist the clan, so I can't be affiliated of them. They're affiliates of me because I'm from right. state where this shit started from. I'm not a right. affiliate of the Wu Tang Clan. You know what I mean? Now, Sons of Army and, 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 and Sons of Man and Sons of Man, yeah. yeah. 
Right. They are because you got to understand now the powers, the powers that rock with the clan, like even power, the Wu, you know, that owns the Wu. You got to remember, uh, Killer, Killer Sin, that's his little brother. So he was like one of the head. He was one yeah. of the head yeah. of the Killer Army. Yeah. So my little brother's down with them. Um, and then Riz's brother, Matt, uh, Matt uh, well, Riz's brother, he was down with him. So he's down with him too. Ninth Prince or whatever. Ninth yeah, Prince. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. So that's Riz. So those are war affiliates because those are their little brothers who they, can, and, yeah. they put on. You know what yeah, I mean? Right. They didn't think about coming to the essence, to the GP, the brain, to say, you know what? Yeah. Let us go, let us put our little brothers and cousins on underneath us and big us, so they can make Wu Tang look bigger, and so we can get all these affiliates that that are walking around with Wu Tang logos. And that back to what I was saying when we was on MCA and they and they and they and they kind of slandered us at retail because we came out with that GP Wu promotions, we had the GP yeah. Wu. Anything after that? Had to have the round little stamp on it with the Wu Tang logo to be Wu Tang mm, official. Yeah, the W shit. Right. Anything after that GP Wu shit, they said we'll have no more of this. This. Year. So when you seen Killer Priest and when you seen every other Wu Tang Remedy and everybody else, they had to have that Wu Tang so you wouldn't get confused or, or you know what I mean. But we started yeah. that when we CA after our promotion. Because they couldn't say they didn't want another group to kind of try to claim that Wu shit. Right. You know what I mean? Not that there would be another one to do it, but they wanted to put their no. stamp on it to make it official. No doubt. What was the fallout behind the G uh the Wu Wu was over? Did you have any did you run into any of them? Did anyone, you know, was any like you know, what was the what was the fallout behind that? You know what I'm saying? Well, just for the just for the record, I'm I'm banned, I'm banned from all Wu Tang like activities. They'll, they'll never invite me to know. Are you saying? Yeah, that's so, crazy. So, 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 okay, so hold up. So you're saying right now on the Drop a Gems show that Pop the Brown Hornet is officially blackballed from any Wu Tang activities, concerts, 420 versus any of that bullshit in the future. Shaolin Homecoming concert with Shaheem and everybody else. Pop ain't gonna be there. I'm blackballed by the clan. You, you gotta mm. ask yourself, even when you look at the Hulu, do you watch the Hulu series? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's, yeah. No, there's, no, there's no mention of me. There's a mention of um a song that allegedly Ghost made, No More Mr. Nice Guy. That's my song, right. B. Wow. Oh, shit. They said that Ghostface made that song as a rebuttal song to the Method Man song that Meth made this in. Right, Stapleton. right. Meth never made no song this in Stapleton. And that. No more, Mister Nice Guy is, is not just a, a ghost face song. That was all right. So, 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 just give a brief history of Park Hill versus Staple, Stapleton diss wars versus all, like, 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 first of all, let, I'm gonna get. I'm gonna answer why I'm black bull. There's a couple of reasons why. Go ahead. Another Go reason ahead. why is this. Another reason why is this too. Me, 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 me and me and Sixty Second Assassin had an altercation one time. But who you um, know? 60 Second Assassin. Oh, okay, okay. That's old Dirty Bastard's brother. Yeah, So when we, when we was at the Muse one time, a situation happened, altercation happened. Um, I got the best of him. Um, later on in that party, they made their way to VIP, and me and old Dirty, he had the whole Brooklyn Zoo behind him. I had Staten Island behind him. The kind of we, the, the 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 cops took us into the hall, into the bathroom, and made us talk it out. To make a longer story shorter, Devon, who have hooked, hold on, son. Devon had the Devon. You got to ask mommy, please, because daddy's so. Devon had the Devon went to um to to Shaheem's manager because that's really who I was with when the altercation happened. I was with Shaheem holding him down. So Devon had went to Shaheem's manager and it was like, well, you know, Brown Hornet, yeah, if you're gonna keep inviting him to functions, we're not right. going. You know, you ain't gonna bring Shaheen because I was looked at as the bad guy. So I'm the bad guy. Wu Tang Clan is the baddest fucking Wu group in the world, but I was the bad guy, and they had to fight. <laughs> I, was, I wasn't obeying rules by, by, the Abbey, by the Abbey. So, and this is true. And after that situation, trust me. But then, then. I mean, they was already shitting on me and blackballing me since then. So when I, by the time I made the woo is over, I had made the woo is over like in 04. 
but I didn't do a video until Sandy. You know, <laughs> I, I put, I, and I was just doing it for fun. The war was over. Rest in peace to Megatron. Yeah. Megatron had, Megatron had dropped a mixtape CD and that song was on it. And so mm-hmm. when that song, that song was on it, um, Solomon Chow heard the song. Okay. Solomon Chow. Solomon Chow heard the song and he went to Devon and was like, yo, bro, you hear this shit, bro? I want to say it, yo, he's going crazy, yo. And then um, there was another person who heard it and they brought it back to um, Inspector Deck. And they was just like, ah, yo, well, you know, I don't want to know. He really be Wu Tang. Like, he, he got, I know why he mad. Like, like, <laughs> it is not like, <laughs> like I know why, because a lot of comments I be reading underneath that the, the video is like you fuck him up and this that and the third and and boom boom but but them brothers know the history of this shit like right, right, yeah. right. that's why about two weeks ago Method Man was on Fat Man Scoop oh he's getting interviewed and mm-hmm. they had, and, and and Method Man was like that Wu shit started it was first in Stapleton with 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 with, with the RZA and and, and, and Ghost. Of course, he ain't gonna leave me out. Like I said, I'm black boy. They can't mention my name. You feel me? Right. I was part of that movement. I was part of one of the lyrical MC. I was in Park Villa. You know what I mean? I was everywhere with these dudes. This is that I didn't remember. This is this is the big difference. A lot of those dudes at that time, they didn't go to school. They was cutting out, smoking, drinking, right. and the third. So I wasn't right. part. Of that. I wasn't part of that outcast crew. Right. I went to school. I went to school. I snacked. I slap box. I was good in everything. Well, well, you want to snap? I'd snap you. You know what I mean? You want to slap box? You want, what, 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 you want to play football? That's That was me. So right. I was one of those dudes that was well-rounded. You know what I mean? Right. And my vocabulary and all of that. When you listen to my rhymes, my shit, I write my own shit. Nobody ever wrote one of my rhymes. I bet right. you they can't feel that. And I know there's a mm. couple of folks from out of the mm. clan. In there. I know there's a couple of them that can't say that. So okay. when you say Drop, why drop a name, I, drop a name. Nah, why, wasn't, <laughs> why wasn't I invited to the party? It's a party mm. party. So I'm gonna bring myself. That's you why did. on one of my so I, one of my songs, I, I let it be known. I tell you, like, yo, I'm Staten Island's most hated, unfortunately, but it's the truth of the matter. Because if I could have a whole that clan, uh, if I could have a whole clan blackball me, like like I said, they know me. Meth ghosts, they know me. And certain yeah. shit they they said I was Ghostface's cousin. You know what I mean? Why they ain't, why nobody just said, yo, Brown, come to, you know what, like bygones be bygones, go, Yeah. Go. Yo, you know what, fuck it, you a part of, you a Staten Island legend, you part of history, B. That should be, you know, you should, you, that should be by, like, default, you, you, you woo and shit, but when I first heard you, I thought you was woo, I thought King Justice was woo too, but then, as time goes on, you kind of see no one standing next to y'all. You know what I'm saying, and, and, and it becomes yeah. a little evident. And I always thought that was a little, you know, a little strange and shit. You know what I'm saying? So good looking on yeah. clean that well, up. On King Justice aspect is a little different because King Justice from Paul killed two six horror, so he was part yeah. of a different team out there. So when the Wu formed, and they, and and I always thought, and this is just me, but when you say um um. Hey y'all, uh, hey y'all, uh, can I get some? Yeah, well, it's good. We just drum on the ball path. Yeah. And then you say, uh, hey, you get off my cloud. You don't know, uh, you don't know my style. It's the same shit. Like, so why is one so successful and the other wasn't? It's because some were blocked out and others were given. It's the same shit though. Same shit. <laughs> hey. So let me ask you something. Before before King just got signed to his label, you know what I'm saying, which was different from MCA and Loud and all that. It was more more underground indie. When he got signed for Warriors Drum, um, like was that song already out in the hood there in, in Staten Island before you know before anything Met the Man was doing or like how did that go about it and like what was that whole science? Well, so listen, King Just, me and King Just would go back to to high school, <clears throat> um. And I'm like, like two two years older than KJ. So he used to always run up to me like constantly all the time, wanting to battle and like rhyme and you know what I mean. Sometimes I had that persona that was untouchable. So he'd bring his man with him too, like from Stapleton, like, yo, he wants to battle and shit. I was like, all right, come on. Um that's how King Just was. He run up on anybody and he always had that same style. Right. You know that what energy, I mean? The high energy joint. Right. 
So even if you, you know, and I'm not saying nobody stole anything from anybody, but I just know that those styles are very similar. You know what I mean? Right. And he just had a name for himself because, like I said, we've been doing this since forever in the day. Um, was that song out in popping? Maybe in Paul Kill, not so much in the state. Right. Right. Oh, because, like I said, it was just a different texture up there. But King Just was known for rhyming, and it was easy for him. And I'm not going to say. I think what happened when, 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 when the clan, like, I'm explaining to you like this. Go ahead. There were people that was there's, there's people that was down with the Wu Tang Clan. I mean, or the back scenes, or the Wu. They was down with a different regime. I told you in Park Hill it used to be a crew called DMD, but when right. the Wu mm-hmm. Tang formed, some of the members from DMD left. They got mm-hmm. down with the clan. Some of the other DMDs form Black Fist, and that's how King Just came out. So it was always competition. It was like, oh, you over there doing this? All right, well, I'm going to grab King Just, and we're going to do this. Wow. <clears throat> so, so it's just that the clan won because you win in numbers. You know what I mean? If you if you, if you, you right. win in numbers, if, if you would have grab uh, right now, <laughs> you look at the clan and you would say, damn, some of y'all shouldn't even been on the album. That wasn't even worthy. Mm. Mm. So that's like, and I'm explaining to you like this. If you're walking down the deuce, right? And it's you and it's nine motherfuckers, right? Right, right. Obviously, the nine motherfuckers is going to whip you out. You know what I mean? You would think like, all right, yeah. nine motherfuckers are going to get you. Now you got that one right. motherfucker and you bump into them nine motherfuckers one by one. <laughs> you, you, might, I, you might be seven and two. You might, you might knock them all out. But chances right, are, you, right. chances are you you better than half of them. You feel me? Right. So I know, right. so I know that a lot of the the, the not so talented hit behind the numbers. You understand right. what I'm saying? <laughs> and that's just the bottom line. Is is, is relevant. And then uh, one, another thing I want you to, uh, to point out when you when you think about the clan is the fact that when you think about any other group that right. comes out, usually all of them are from from the same place. And when you, right. think, when you see the clan, it's like four members are from Brooklyn. You know, rest in peace to old dirty bastard. But right. even though the OGB Master Killer, right? Even on Protect Your Neck, he came out with Brooklyn Zoo right, right. off the rip, right off right. the rip. So that goes to show you not getting full representation of Staten Island, like right off right. the rip. He was getting, you know, and then even Ray Congo. And then we moved to Shallow Land, a young youth, right. not even a Staten Islander. Y'all came in and y'all absorbed the Staten Island lifestyle, and y'all right. took the y'all took the Wu Tang gimmick, and y'all became successful. But y'all mm-hmm. was supposed to come back and water the tree. They never came back and watered the tree. Right. The only well, time they come back is when they come through with their Hulu vans, and y'all wanna mm-hmm. you know, aim us out in front of Stapleton and call us Stapleton bones and act like we were low lives when we Two. made so much more to your history of. of no, two a two part question because I'm glad that you brought that up. One, has there ever been a discussion in the hood amongst all the elders like yourself and the other ones that kind of got shunned out of the whole series about being part of that? You know, like being acknowledged in that. One, two, when do we get pop and your peoples to do a documentary about that history so it's told properly mm. about everything that all the layers of of Staten Island music and hip hop history that has nothing to do with Wu. And it's like more that. about the neighborhoods and, and what the projects were saying and dictated, so to speak. That's a good question. I think, so. I, see, I think a couple of people want to touch on things of that nature, but I think it's very important that the artistry stop. You can't do that right now. Come on. The artistry of Staten Island has to bring itself to the forefront. In order okay. for people to really be interested in saying what else exists out there besides Wu Tang, are people right. really interested? I mean, I've been shoving Wu Tang so much, it's like, come on, what else is really out there? So I think that the industry somehow or the 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 the, the, the radio, they have to be more open to play.